Hi, I'm Chris, Master Certified Technician here with Autoscope in Plano, and today we're gonna to discuss how to choose an independent repair shop, and this one's pretty easy, just call me. We're done, right? No. There's a lot more things to look into to how to choose a shop. As odd as it sounds, auto repair shops have personalities. We've all kind of dealt with the grumpy old man, sometimes he reminds us of our grandpa or our dad, and it's fantastic. He knows what he's doing, he's a little gruff, he doesn't actually like speaking on the phone, but he fixes your car and you like that. But what if you don't like that? What if you like a shop where there's lots of communication, where you can actually see pictures and videos and there's technology involved? If that's your personality, you have to find a shop that has that personality or you'll never be happy. So it's just like finding your friends, finding a spouse. It's you have to find somebody that pairs well with you. So in looking for those type of things in a shop is you wanna call around and you may even be tempted to say, uh, well, what's your price on this? Well, does that really tell you the personality of the shop? Does it tell you the type of people who work there? Does it tell you the things that they do? Does it actually tell you the quality of work? No, it's just a number. And uh, while it's kind of an easy way to start a conversation, it doesn't really give you the information that you need to know. So a lot of times the best thing to do is ask people, it's just like, do you use quality parts? What's the training for your technicians? Uh, could I come in and see your shop? And if you feel comfortable with these answers that you're getting, then this may be the shop for you. One thing that actually is more hurtful to clients is if they hop from shop to shop to shop trying different things out. It's kind of like going to multiple different doctors. You have to start from square one every time you go in and it just winds up costing you more time, more money, and usually makes you kind of hate your car. A lot of times I'll hear, you know, it's like, this is the worst car I've ever owned. I'll never buy another one again. Well, it's not really the car most of the time. I mean, there are the occasional bad ones that make it out of the factory, but usually it's the way the car has been cared for. Sometimes we're looking at cars that may have had four or five owners. The first guy didn't think that his car really needed any maintenance. Uh, the second guy maybe just drove it back and forth to the airport and left it parked and never changed the oil. There's different type of things. So you kind of, as you, as you own a car, you own the previous owner and his habits and his mechanic choices. Sometimes if you're buying a car that's low mileage, there's not a lot of damage done, you can reverse those things. But you wanna make sure the shop that you're choosing will actually ask you these type of questions. Is that, well, do you have any history on the car? What's been done here? What's been done there? What type of noise are you experiencing with the car? Can we go for a test drive and you show me what's happening to your car? Those are the type of things that are gonna help get your car fixed faster. You also have to ask yourself, where are your priorities? Is it okay to just throw used parts on your car and kind of get it by? If so, then you need to find a shop that's interested in doing those type of things, which there's not a lot left anymore. Most of them want to do high quality repair, but there's a few that are working out of like storage units and things and they'll do it. If that's what you're wanting, then they're out there. But what you really should be interested in is a shop that does high quality repairs with trained technicians that uses OEM parts on your car. That way your car is the most reliable and you're going to get the most longevity out of it. The ideal here is to buy a car you like and drive your investment out of it. Man, Chris knows his stuff, doesn't he? So if you need any of the services or repairs that Chris just talked about, call us or email us and we'll schedule an appointment immediately. Don't delay and thank you for your business. Autoscope, trust and value the way car repairs should be.